Hi people, so it's been a while since I've done any kind of tutorial on my YouTube so I thought why not get into some sort of mapping tutorial for Team Fortress so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few videos just showing you basically how to make a basic map and then going into more detail like maybe adding I don't know some sort of custom items into your map or something uh, but yeah what we'll do is first we'll just do like the very basics in the first video just getting us started with a simple map layout um, we won't cover any entities at all uh, in the first one just basically setting up the straight off map and then adding the textures on um, yeah so talking to textures what you want to do is always get into the habit of putting no draw as your first texture uh, for performance on your map so I'm assuming that you've already got hammer set up you want to um, load it in the source SDK source engine 2009 and then just choose Team Fortress 2 as the map um, yeah so click on the block tool on the left here and on the top view uh, yours might be different here by the way you might want to set it up like mine so I've got the front one down here just click it and choose front top left choose side choose top and camera view. Uh, first thing, click on camera, go to view, go to coordinates, and type in zero space zero space zero. You can move around with the mouse, like look. Well, look around with the cursor keys on your keyboard, like uh, what you scroll in and out to move. So, go over to your top view, drag out a box. as I say you click in the area and you move with the case keys left and right left and right left and right up and down now just remember you're working on the top view here so everything this is the top that you're looking down onto your map and this is the side of your map here so once you've dragged it onto the top just tap enter click on the case up here and then you've got your box now in this window just scroll around and you'll see this now this is just the basic um, block that you've just drawn out your characters can run around on this uh, so yeah what you want to do is just uh, bring it down a bit so I'm just going to bring it down to there that's still quite large maybe drag it down to 4x4 for now now what I do is click on entity and you'll have info player team spawn and just click that onto the map now we're not actually using this character this is just to scale your walls and stuff now if you tap on the the little minus keys at the top here it'll lower the grid so you can like move the block around instead of snapping to those large grids see it'll snap it's basically what you're looking for is something that will just be the right size for your player there so drag that down now go to your top view right let's just bring this grid down a bit and we are just making some walls basically Like you see now be, because you've got the character there you can see the, the height of the wall and uh, now obviously we're working with Team Fortress 2 so you know that the demo man can do super jumps and stuff so you need your map uh, to basically not be able to like a demo man to jump over the wall and out the map uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to build an inside map for now Now, if you hold down control and you click onto the um, yeah onto the items, you can select multiple items. So we've got all those selected. Just bring up one more. Let's have a look. 
yeah for some reason sometimes my textures mess up you might just wanna click on the texture tool on the left click on the wall and then right click on the other texture and it'll just copy the attributes to that wall yeah um, click this hold shift and drag it up and you've got a ceiling so now we've got this little starting zone where we can have our players starting uh, right let's just drag them over the top now hold shift again on the top view, drag it over bring this down right so we've got that wall there click the texture attribute over right so we've got like a little start and location this is just going to be a very simple map by the way right so I've just shift copied that wall and then just dragged it out to make a wall just copy the attributes again right so we're getting the very basic outlines of a map now what we can do is just to save time copy all this with control click and hold shift drag this down yeah just flip it there it's clear right so now we've got like this two starting points with a little center area right so we need a floor so go to the top view and just paste that over right there we go right let me just copy these attributes right there we go so we've got like a basic basic map now what you can do is on the top you drag out another wall go to your front view bring it to the top like that basically and that's what it will look like browse textures and go to Tools. Right, and put a player clip, and basically your soldiers and stuff won't be able to go past this texture, but items will. So you'll shoot grenades over, shoot rockets over, and just players won't be able to go through it. Yeah, so it's really useful, like for that type of thing just shift copy this over yeah my hammers having issues at the moment so it's a bit of a bad time to do a tutorial, tutorial really but whatever right so there's the basics of a setup for like a shitty map that some retarded child would make but you've got the basic idea of a spawn point uh, player clip for the roof now the texture so what we do is we go to browse type in floor right so just select this one for now actually no let's look for a good one this one looks rocky team fortress style Um, I'm not too sure about that actually. That's better. Right, okay, so now we've got the floor. Uh, you want the walls. Just browse for walls. Uh, 
old walls even better, yeah. Um, let's try brick. Yeah, that's a pretty common team fortress. Right, and just basically paste, paste that. Right, so it's starting to come together now. We've got the walls, we've got the floor. Now we need the little spawn. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so I'm going to do the same for the walls. Then you might want a ceiling texture, so. Let's just try floor. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so there's the basic layout. Now because what I do is normally just we're making it inside map, so we don't need these. But that is basically if you're making an outside map, you would put those player clips up. So what you want to do is just copy this up more. Shift copy. And then drag it out. And once again, just drag this over. drag that over uh, copy the texture right so we've got like a bit of a height right copy the floor over to the roof and just drag over there you gotta make sure that all the edges are covered, otherwise you'll get leaking and it's just not good. Let's copy this. Right, so there's the basic interior of a map. Now we need I'm just gonna show you a few extra things. So we've got the decals here. If you click on the decals, go to your textures, click on decal. Now you'll see these little art things. Just select one of these Team Fortress ones. There is quite a few. These are all Half Life 2 ones though. Here we go. <laughs> these are all custom ones from all the maps I've been playing as well. <laughs> Sick. Right. These are all from UKCS. Right, I'll just put this one. See, so if you click, it basically just puts that on the wall. Right, so there's the rules of the server placed. You can also, I'm not going to discuss entities yet, so. What else can I show you? Just delete that now. 
yeah and what else you can do is if we put a block here just a simple block browse the texture to just copy that one right so we put a block in the middle and then we put like shift copy another block next to it if you select this this polygon tool here and then just go to your side view not your front view and just drag this side down so you can make like surfaces to run up and stuff so if we just flip this vertical and there we've got like a place that you could put a capture point obviously you wouldn't have a capture point on this map because it would be insane right so there we go there's the basics the very basics of like basicville but yeah i will show you guys how to make entities in the next video see you later